guys welcome back to another episode of Lois cooking corner thank you so much for joining me today guess what i have a very delicious recipe to cook today i am going to be cooking coconut curry fish guys did you hear what i just said coconut curry fish and i'm going to top that off with some spinach rice and vegetables this is going to be so delicious so nutritious guys thank you for watching me cook in my kitchen come on let's go and watch me cook and you know what in the meantime go ahead subscribe like and share this video and uh, thank you so much and god bless you Every single day All right, I am so excited, guys, to um, bring you another episode of Lois Cooking Corner. I'm here in the kitchen, and today, again, as, as you know, I am preparing coconut curry snapper fish, okay? Let me go right in and, and give you an ingredient breakdown. Okay, so I have um, white onion, red and green bell peppers. I have a scotch bonnet pepper here. I have some freshly um, diced um, garlic. I have also some um, scallions over here. I have thyme. Um, I have some um, coconut milk right here. I'm gonna add all-purpose fish seasoning, um, curry powder, of course, because we're doing a curry meal, um, adobo and um, garlic. Um, I am also gonna add some ginger. So most of this ingredient is for the sauce. But right now what I am going to be doing is to fry the fish. And right over here, I have the oil heating up over here. And I added a piece of onion and three um, cloves of garlic. And it's just breaking down. It's frying up and really flavoring that oil. I also um, put some little holes in the garlic so it can release the flavor um, um, in the oil, okay? So at this time, I'm gonna go right on in and I forgot to show you my fish over here, okay? This is what I'm gonna be frying and this is um, the snapper fish. All right, so I have about, I have four pieces of fish um, in here, frying up very nicely. And um, along with the garlic and the onion, everything is just so smelling, the aroma is just so beautiful. Okay, I am gonna allow that to fry for about five minutes on each side. I will come back when I'm turning them so I can show you what it looks like. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so it's about five minutes right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fish on the other side, okay? So, wow, look at what it looks like. Woo Beautiful, okay? Look at that. Wow. Wow. The, the, guys, you, if you understand what's going on in my kitchen right now, if you understand how it smells so good, <laughs> look at that. And I am going to allow that to also fry for another five minutes on that side. And um, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, my fish is done frying this batch. 
um, is done and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. Look at that. Perfectly fried fish. Look at that, y'all. This is amazing, okay? Look at that. You can tell it's very moist and juicy. Oh my goodness. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the onion and the garlic, and then I'm gonna add one more batch of fish that I have. And um, once those are fried out, I will come back and show you how I'm gonna make my coconut curry sauce to um, for this fish. I'll be back. Okay, so my fish is finally done frying and right now I am about to make um, the curry sauce for the fish I have some oil already heating here in the pot and I am gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of curry powder just to burn it off okay you don't want the curry to be burned or to get black you're just trying to burn um, the curry off to, to a, um, a brownish color but not black okay and this is how I grew up um, seeing Jamaicans you know my parents um, cooking curry they always burn it off and I think the reason behind this um, if you just go ahead and cook the curry as is without burning it off um, you can get upset stomach um, from the curry so we usually burn the curry off All right, so at this time, guys, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add my ginger here. I'm gonna add my onion. And I'm gonna add my garlic. Go ahead and turn your stove down to a medium, okay? I did went ahead and um, cut up some um, carrots and I'm gonna go ahead and add that in because it's a harder vegetable so it can cook and infuse all the flavors coming from the onions the garlic and the ginger okay I'm gonna go in with my thyme My scallion and I'm going in with my scotch bonnet pepper Ooh. at this time guys I'm gonna go in and add in my bell peppers And guess what? I have some frozen um, okra. I already cleaned it up and put it in the freezer. I'm just gonna go in with a handful and I'm just gonna leave it cold as well. This is gonna be so delicious. So everything, all the vegetables getting infused with all the, the herbs and you know the scallion and onion and the ginger everything okay look at that my dears look at that beauty at this time i am gonna go in okay with some adobo one teaspoon of adobo because you want to make sure that everything is seasoned and have a beautiful flavor a teaspoon of fish seasoning, a 
teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. And again, some garlic powder, a teaspoon. You see that? You see what's going on right here? Hallelujah, hallelujah. You see what's going on right here? Beauty, okay, beauty to behold. At this time, guys, I'm gonna go in and add in my coconut milk. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Woo. Woo. My coconut curry fish making the sauce. And you remember that beautiful um, season that was on the fish earlier? Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some water to it. And I'm gonna pour this in. Okay, and this is gonna come to a nice boil. Guys, look at this, okay? Look at this, it smells so good, so, so good. This is so gorgeous, look at that, okay? Wow. Okay guys, and um, in the next two minutes, what I am gonna do, I'm gonna go in and add my fish. But what right now, I want this to come to a boil, and then I will go ahead and add my fish into this mix. In, in two minutes. Okay, this is what my pot is looking like right now. Look at that sauce, look at that. Look at that, guys, look at that. And my okra is still intact, guys. Look at that. Okay. This is the moment where I will go ahead and add my fish. Look at this everyone, <laughs> look at this. Guys, look at that and I'm gonna Try to bring up the um the okra from the bottom to the top and some of that beautiful sauce and onions and everything. Look at that. You can have this over white rice. You can have this with ground provisions, plantain, yam, potatoes. Um, you can have this with, I mean, bread, whatever you want. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a couple onions, pieces of onions I cut up here. Guys, look at that gravy. Ha! Look at that! In the next Two to three minutes I will turn my stove off guys because this is done and so the next time you'll see me you'll see me plating this up for you beautiful presentation don't go anywhere stay tuned I will be right back All right, guys, all right, all right. Look at this beautiful, 
beautiful blessings on this plate right now. I don't even know how to describe it. But guys, I am having my coconut curry fish with spinach rice and I have some vegetable and I also add okra on um, in the sauce. This is amazing. I outdid myself tonight. I outdid myself tonight. Guys, thank you so much for joining me again on another episode of Lois Cooking Corner. Go ahead, subscribe, like and share my videos for um, guys to your families, friends, neighbors, whoever you may know. Thank you so much again for joining me. God bless you. No matter what you're going through at this moment, know that God cares for you, okay? All right, see you again. Thank you, bye.